Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Becky and today I'm going to be showing you how you can sew this disappearing pinwheel quilt block and rearrange your pieces to make this block using either a layer cake or your own 10 inch cut squares. The blocks that I'm showing you today are featured in the quilt behind me. Check the description to see how you can get this pattern in a PDF format. The first thing you're going to do is take two pieces of fabric and they need to be the same size. This process can be done with any size. So what I'm starting off with is a 10 inch by 10 inch square, which is the exact same size as a layer cake. So this pattern would be super simple to make using your layer cake pieces. So the first thing we're going to do is take this to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch around all the way on all four sides of this block. Now that we have our block all sewn together, what we're going to do is cut from corner to corner. You can use your long ruler or whatever you've got and I'm using a turntable mat so I can turn this around without having to move the block. My ironing board's in the way a little bit. All right. So what this is going to do is give you four half square triangles. This is what we are going to sew together to make our pinwheel. So once we have this done, we can go ahead and finger press or um, iron these blocks. We're going to open these up and you can see that they are half square triangles. So we're going to position these so they all, so it starts making our pinwheel. What you want to make sure when you are doing this process with multiple blocks, so repeating this, is that your first block is the same. So you have your color piece on the bottom, background on the top, <clears throat> or you vice versa it. So just make sure that all your blocks lay out the same. That way you don't mix up um, your designs when you move forward. So at this point, what we're going to do is sew these together into two different rows and then sew our rows together to make a complete pinwheel block. All right, now that I have my block all sewn together, you will want to press this really well because we are going to be cutting it up and we want to make sure that it's laying nice and flat. So you can press from the back, the front, you can just press this down. Be aware that this does have a lot of bias, so there is a little bit of a stretch, so try really hard not to pull on this or stretch your pinwheel out. Once this is nice and pressed, you're going to lay it on your cutting mat and we are going to begin cutting. So I'm going to use my ruler and what I'm going to do is use this left edge of the block as my reference and I am going to cut four inches in. So I'm lining up my four, my four on the ruler to this left side 
and I'm going to cut all the way from the bottom to the top. Don't worry about this being super perfect because we are going to square up these blocks. I'm going to pivot my mat and I'm not going to move this, but I'm going to repeat the process for the next edge. Again, the measurement I'm using is four inches. So we're going to repeat this for all four sides of the block. And if you want, you can line this up with the center seam to make sure that you don't have your ruler off or crooked. And the last cut. Now that I have all four strips cut, I'm just going to start dividing these into like pieces. So I'm putting all my half square triangles together and um, I've got my center pinwheel and the other pieces. So I'm going to grab my block lock ruler. This one I really like, I use it all the time. And this is perfect for squaring up our half square triangles. So I am just going to be lining this up and trimming off so all of the blocks end up to be the same size. This is where the fun begins. You take your pieces and start moving them around to make the pattern that you want. So we've got our pinwheel, which goes right in the center. And then we are going to put our half square triangles around it. And then in the corners, we are going to put the rectangular pieces. All right, there we go. I've got my pinwheels in the right position, and then just depending on how you start this, but it doesn't really matter because you can turn these around and they're gonna turn out the same. So just check the positions of all of it before you sew this together. But this is one of, I guess it's like a double pinwheel um, disappearing quilt block. So now what we're going to do is take this to the sewing machine and start sewing them into rows and then adding our last piece to each row. All right, so now we can go ahead and press the block 